just going to leave you with like a little bit of message that I leave normally when I talk to groups, okay? Uh, you know, Dallas knows I have four sons, all right? And, and I'm real proud of all of them. And they've all done real well. You know, one was the great football player in high school, and he's married now, has a couple kids. And, you know, my second son, you know, played basketball for Roman and NYU, and he's doing real well. And, you know, my youngest son, Greg, was one of the best baseball players in the country out of high school. He's now down in Coastal Carolina. Mm. And, uh, you know, he's a great kid. Uh, but the, the son I told everybody about is my third son, Pete. Okay, uh, Pete has uh, something called Down syndrome. All right, and the reason why I bring up Pete at shooting clinics is because back in about the mid-90s, things really changed for players. See, when, when I had Dallas and I had guys from the 80s, you know, if they got to a camp, you know who took them? coach. Or somebody put him on a bus and just said go. But see, in the mid-90s, things changed. Okay? I can remember being at Robert Morris in the outdoor courts with 450 campers doing a shooting demonstration, and there were 250 parents sitting up on the hill watching. And see, and in the talk that I gave that day, what I said to the campers was, who really wants this? Okay. Do you really want to be a great player? Or, or is it your parents, or your grandparents, or your coach who wants you to be a great player? And see, the reason why I bring, bring Pete up is because Pete's mentally retarded. Okay. He has things that hold him back. He can't read. He can't tell time. But you know what? Pete has a job four days a week washing dishes. He has a brown belt in martial arts. He bowls two times a week. He wants to be an actor. He loves plays. He wants to be a lead in the play. But you know what? He'll never be a lead in the play. Because he can't read and doesn't speak well because of his tongue size. But see, you can be anything you want to be. And that's why I bring Pete up. See, he can't be anything he wants to be, but he wants to be it. You know, and, and he's reaching as high as he can, and that is why he's accomplished so much. Not because my wife and I have pushed him, because God, for some reason, gave him this innate ability to push himself. He's remarkable. If I put him here socially with you guys, you would probably not even know he's a mental retarded. Other than how he looks. But see, if you want to be great at the piano, if you want to be great at math, if you want to be great at basketball, the only one that can make that happen is you. You've got to look at yourself and say, what do I really want? What do I really want to be great at? See, and once you make that decision, and you really go after it, then you've got a chance of being really, really successful. But if you never say to yourself, I want to be great at something, and you're afraid of going after it, then the only one that's holding you back is yourself. There's a lot of talent in basketball. You know, and I don't know what other things you guys are good at, but I'm, I'm sure that you could be really, really successful and great at something. So just think about that, and think about who wants it. You know, if I said to you, who wants to be great at basketball, how many would say, I do? Who wants to be great at basketball? Now, who wants to be great at basketball? I do. Who wants to be great at basketball? I do. Okay. Well, if you can say that out loud, at anything you want to be great in, then you're going to have a chance of achieving it. So again, you know, this is my one chance of talking to you, the next time I'm with you, you're going to hate me as much as Dallas did when he was in high school. Because it's going to be two hours of nonstop thrills. You're going to be so tired and you're going to glad the day's over. But think about that. Think about how much you want to be successful, how much you want to be great at something, and how hard are you willing to work for it. And if you do really go after it, then maybe you won't achieve it to its maximum, but you're going to get real, real close. All right? So have a great rest of your weekend, and I will see you on October 27th. All right? Thanks a lot. Great, man. Great. Thank you. All right.